Welcome to DBCom Technology. In this lab, I am going to show it to you how to configure NAT on Vigor 3910 router. Before we start the configuration, let's go and understand the lab topology. In my lab, we have a Vigor 3910 router which is going to act as a gateway and we have a layer 2 switch without any VLANs. And I have configured port number 12 for my management network. So my PC is directly connected on port number 12 and I have configured the IP address as 192.168.100.0 slash 24 network. And for this network, I have enabled the DHCP as well as DNS. So this port number 12, I'm going to use it for my management network. Now on the WAN interface, I have configured 195.229.219.5 which is static public IP and it belongs to slash 27 mask. And for my LAN internal network, I have configured 192.168.20.0 slash 24 network and 20.1 I have configured as a gateway for my LAN network. And I have enabled the DHCP and DNS as well. And my switch IP address I have configured as 192.168.20.5. So here in this lab, what I'm trying to do here, whenever somebody trying to hit my public IP, which is 195.229.219.5, then the request means whenever trying to do the telnet to my public IP, which is 195.229.219.5, then the request has to go to my switch, which is 192.168.20.3, 20 I'm sorry for it, 20 20.5. So the request has to go to 192.168.20.5. .20 In my layer 2 switch, I already enabled the telnet on port number 23, and I have configured the username is admin, and password is admin. So basically these kind of requirements mostly you are going to find it in your real-time environment. For example, your manager want to see uh, the camera access. For example, whenever you are trying to access, uh, you want to access your camera from outside through your public IP, how you are going to do the port forwarding. This is what I am going to show it to you guys. So before you are going to start this lab, what I am going to do now, I just want to check the verification. The basic verification is, whether I can able to reach from my Draytech router to my LAN to my layer 2 switch or not. This is what I'm going to do. So which means I'm going to my Draytech router. From there I try to ping 20.5. Let's go and check the first verification guys. So my Draytech router IP address is 192.168.100.1 which is the IP address I configured for my management network. So open the browser. Then type the IP address as 192.168.100.1. Then the username is admin, password is admin. So to verify that, go to the diagnostics, click on the ping diagnosis, then after that specify the IP address which is 192.168.20.5. Then say run, then click OK. Now you can able to see, you're able to access 20.5, that is one. And second thing is that make sure that you have to enable telnet access for your switch. For example, some people what they do, they forget to enable the telnet access and they're trying to access the telnet from outside. That time it doesn't possible. So now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to open my command terminal. There you just see here, this is my switch. I'm trying to do the telnet to the switch. So I'm going to say telnet then IP address of my switch, which is 20.5. It's prompt me the username admin, password is admin. Now I can able to see, I successfully log in the telnet. So I am sure that the telnet is allowed for my switch. Now the next thing is that, whenever somebody trying to access, whenever somebody they hit the public IP, which is 195.229.219.5, the request has to go to 20.5. This is what I need to do now. Okay, guys. So first of all, to do this activity, 
go to the NAT, then click on the port redirection. If you see here, by default, Vigor 3910 is going to support up to 520 port redirection profiles. You can able to create it, guys. So first of all, click on one. Then after that, enable this. Then I'm going to select here single. Then after that, what is your service name? I'm going to give like a telnet access. Okay, guys, telnet access. Then after that, what is the protocol? The protocol which I'm going to use TCP or UDP. So since the telnet protocol is belongs to TCP, which is port number 23. Then what's your WAN interface? My WAN interface is on WAN3. I have terminated my internet connection on WAN3. And what's your public port? So public port, I don't want to change. I want to use it as a same, which is port number 23. Then source IP. Source IP means the guy who is going to come from internet. He can come from anywhere in the world. And what's your private IP? The private IP is which is 192.168.20.5. Then what is your private port, which is 23. So this is what I'm trying to do, guys. Then after that, say OK. Once you have done this activity, let's click OK now. Now, if you see here, the traffic is coming from WAN tree interface through, uh, through anywhere in the world. The source IP can be anything. And the protocol is TCP and the public port is 23. And they are trying to hit this. OK, guys. So now what I'm going to do now, just log out from your Retech. Now, I just want to tell you something here. So, basically, here, my port number 3 is not directly connected to the internet, guys. Here, I have a Wi-Fi router. Okay, in my home, I have a Wi-Fi router. That Wi-Fi router is connected to the internet. Try to understand this. So, here, what happened? I configured this subnet in my internal network. Okay? So that's why whenever I want to show it to you because you may feel that that I have a public IP. That's why I did this. Okay, guys. So make sure that everybody has to understand this. Port number three is connected to my Wi-Fi router at my home. This Wi-Fi router is connected to the internet. And here my connection from the service provider is which is PPPoE. And here in my Wi-Fi router, I have enabled the DHCP with the IP address is 195.229.219.0 slash 27. This is what I configured, guys. And I configured dot one. Okay, guys. So let's consider this is my service provider network. Okay, guys. So now what I will do for testing purpose, I am going to connecting to my Wi-Fi network so that I will be here in the public network. From there, I can able to access this public IP. Let's go and do that. Yeah, because if you don't understand this, what I'm going to do, then finally you don't understand anything. Yeah. So first of all, what I'm going to do now, let's disconnect my cable connection. Now, if you see here, my Wi-Fi is turned off. I'm going to turn it on. Then I'm going to connect Seishu Home. If you see guys here, Seishu Home, it's connected now. Now what I'm going to do, if you want to know what IP address I got it. So let's go and check it now. Then click on the network. Now if you see here the Wi-Fi is connected, click on the advanced. Now click on the TCP IP. You can see here I got the IP address from the same public network. So now I can able to access so that I can able to demonstrate this lab to access my Vigor 3910 router with this public IP. Okay guys. So open the telnet now and just do it how just type telnet 195.229.219.5 that's it guys say enter then the moment when i hit enter it's asking the user verification so i'm going to say admin and the password so as i told you the admin is the password now see here i can able to access this hope everybody is clear guys so now I can able to access this from outside and see here how simple in the Dretech. You no need to write any policies or anything. So this is what how you are going to do the port redirection guys. But some people they may have a question that the question is that say should can we do like this? For example, whenever somebody trying to access from outside, they need to come with port number 23 and 23. When they hit this 
port number 23 which means try to understand this one guys the traffic whenever the, somebody try like this 195.229.219.5 colon 23 and 23 this is the port number okay guys public port number and the request has to go to my switch it can be nvr or if can it can be ftp server or it can be http or any other thing so simply what i'm going to do i need to forward to 192.168.20.5 and port number 23 guys this is what i want to do it now hope everybody is clear so this is my public ip when somebody comes with this public ip with this port number it has to forward it has to translate to 192.168.20.5 with this port number let's go and do it now so for that what we are going to do guys it's very simple go to your viga 3910 router login now admin and admin see here after few minutes it's going to log out immediately guys to avoid these kind of things what you are going to do i'm sorry guys i need to connect my cable yeah did you remember that i disconnected for testing so now i'm going to connect it back and I'm going to turn off my Wi-Fi again. Yeah, let's go and do it now. Let's try now. 192.168.100.1. Then after that, say username is admin, password is admin. Now you are there. Now make sure that auto logout make it off so that you are going to, you know, logout automatically. Now what I'm going to do now, let's go to the NAT and click on port redirection. Then click on number two profile. So enable this profile and what's your service name? I'm going to do same thing, telnet access number two. Then after that, what's the protocol you are going to use, TCP? And where is your WAN interface is connected? I connected on WAN three. Then after that, what's your public port, which is 2323? Port number 2323, I'm sorry for it and source ip can be anything and what's your private ip which is 20.5 and what's your private port which is 23 guys so make sure that whenever the traffic is coming from internet with this public ip and with this port okay which is coming from anywhere in the world okay guys and it's going to translate with this private ip and with this port guys that's what you need to understand so here the translation will be 195.229.219.5 colon port number 2323 is going to translate it as 192.168.20.5 this is what is going to do guys so everybody has to pay attention on this yeah if you understand this logic you are going to do it now say okay now say okay now now let's go and connect it back to again my internet connection okay guys so how just disconnect your wired connection and connecting to your Wi-Fi connection so that you will be in the public network guys for testing purpose yeah so now I connected say issue home now I just open my terminal so before I just want to exit from here now do it again so this time I'm trying to do 23 23 guys see directly jump into admin and the password is admin there you go Hope everybody is clear how I am going to access. Okay, guys. In case if you don't want with the port number, we have configured two profile. Just say enter. Now see here. I'm going to give you here. I'm sorry for it. There you go. So you can able to do either with the port or you can able to do in normal way, guys. This is what how you are going to do the NAT in Dratech Vigor 3910 router. Thank you for watching. For sales, please send us an email sales at datawise.com. See you in the next video.